Hi, I'm Erin, and this is Our Wyoming Life. Potatoes are a humble vegetable, but they are a requirement of a starchy side dish on the dinner plate. They can be boring, but when fresh from the garden, they can be transformed into something magical. Add some spicy or sweet garden onions to the humble potato, and now we're getting somewhere. In life, sometimes simple is best, and the garden reminds us that even a boring potato can taste better when homegrown. I love homegrown potatoes. They are tender and buttery. I always grow two rows of them, one of Yukon Gold and one row of Red Pontiac. They both make excellent new potatoes and when they're picked and eaten fresh, they have super thin skins and a tender texture. Before we plant, we have to get the garden ready. Manure needs added. Mike uses the tractor to make quick work of this job. Well-aged manure gets added to the outdoor gardens every two years. After the manure is spread on the garden, the international tractor gets used to till the garden and work in the manure. Every year, potatoes are the first crop that gets planted outside. The garden is long and I swear it's impossible to plant a straight row without using string. This year, potatoes will go right in the center of the garden. It's important to rotate where your potatoes grow every year to prevent disease. It's been three years since potatoes have been grown in the middle. After the string is strung, I can start digging holes. I use a garden stake to evenly space the potatoes. I dig a six inch hole or so for each potato. Then it's time to get the potatoes ready. Seed potatoes have been purchased from the local feed store. They need to be cut so that each hole can be filled. The only requirement when dividing seed potatoes is that each section has an eye. The eye is where the new potato plant will grow from. Potato chunks get placed in each hole and then before they are buried, we make sure that the eyes are facing upward. In a few weeks, the leaves will emerge from the ground. These plants will get almost two foot tall. They will bloom pretty little purple flowers, and then a few weeks after they are done blooming, potatoes will be able to be harvested. Onions always go next to the potatoes. Even though I rotate my crops every year, it seems certain things just go next to each other. For the past several years, onion plants have been ordered from Dixondale Farms. The plants get shipped to me sometime around the first part of May, and they always produce huge, beautiful onions. This year we are growing Walla Walla, Ringmaster White, Red Wing, and Lancelot Leeks. The onions need to be planted in a trench. A good old garden hoe is the tool for the job. The onions get unbundled and placed in the trench. They get planted pretty close together. We will thin them as they grow. By the end of the season, we will have softball-sized onions. All the different varieties of onions get planted the same way. Once placed in the trench, we push the dirt back on them. Fried potatoes and onions from the garden are a thing of beauty. Crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. They are one of our favorite summer side dishes. New potatoes fresh from the garden are so different from a potato that has been placed in storage. I highly recommend digging your potatoes throughout the season so that you can enjoy their deliciousness. If you've never ordered onion plants from Dixondale Farms, I would definitely steer you to them for your next season. I was never able to grow big onions until I started ordering from Dixondale Farms. The plants always arrive healthy and produce consistently large, tasty onions for me year after year. As the potatoes and the leeks grow, they will need to be hilled. It's a simple process that just requires piling the dirt from the row around the base of the plant. It helps the leeks grow big and tall and they stay nice and white. It also helps the potatoes produce more. It also helps avoid the sunburn on potatoes that poke through the top of the soil. A sunburnt potato will have a green skin. It's still totally edible, it just needs to be peeled to remo remove all of the green color. In all honesty, hilling potatoes just doesn't always happen around here. I get busy and sometimes I don't get around to it. If you don't hill your potatoes, it's not the end of the world, they're going to grow just fine without it. I swear, as I do every year, that I will hill the potatoes. And then I'll have so many potatoes that I won't be able to give them away. Please comment, subscribe, like, and share our videos for us. We can't do this without you. If you have any garden questions, feel free to reach out and I will get you the answers that you need. Thanks for joining me in our Wyoming life. And it helps the potato. 
potatoes <laughs> around the base of the plant. It helps the potatoes. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna do that again. Okay. I won't even be able to give them away. That was bad too. Okay. Mm -hmm.